let's dive into the boxes. And this video is going to cover brain dump and synopsis since I work with those two boxes so closely together. In brain dump, you can put whatever you want. Again, as little or as much information. I'm just going to take this class example. I'm going to copy that and we're going to go into brain dump and get started. Again, brain dump affects the synopsis and beats. You can always check those question marks by each box if you need to remember all of that. This is just the three little pigs retelling. Again, this was a class idea, so I'm going to throw it in because I always make the recommendation. If you're starting out in Story Bible, start a story from scratch. And I tend to recommend fairy tales because they're so easy to change. You can make them work for any genre. And since you know how the original went, you know of any changes offhand that you want to make, or you can tell if the program isn't following the story. You know, if it, you did it the original way, you can immediately see if something's not right with it. And it helps you start playing around and refining things to your liking. So we have this three little patron telling. The eldest of three brothers, you're the eldest of three brothers, if only by two minutes, but it counts enough that it puts you in charge. As triplets, you do everything together, including running this city. Not legally, of course, but where's the fun in that? Prohibition is a godsend, making you and your brothers incredibly rich and powerful almost overnight. And you're affectionately known as the Three Little Pigs, which also happens to be the name of your speakeasy. But being on top doesn't come without its problems. There's always some hotshot who thinks he can take on the Three Little Pigs. Until now, you and your brothers have made a meal out of anyone stupid enough to try further cementing your reputation as the most dangerous men in the city. If there are whispers of one who could be your, your undoing, all you know of him is that he goes by the name of Frank the Wolf Corzo. To some, the big bad. He's left a long line of bodies in his wake while taking over gin joint after gin joint, and now he's coming your way. You and your brothers have worked hard to get where you are. The last thing you want is some mafia outsider taking over your territory. You're ready to fight with everything you have. So that's it. You don't want to do all of that. Again, I could have told it something simple like, write the story of the three little pigs. Or some kind of thriller retelling. Horror, like we did with the Pinocchio. Whatever you want to do. Very easy to modify. So now that we have the brain dump, I am going to... Go into synopsis. So for this series of videos, I want to keep everything very simple. I don't want to overwhelm newcomers with all the little tips and tricks. And then I will do another series of videos actually walking through all of the tips that I do. All right, so it gives us our output. This is the first box you should really check and make changes to. So I'm just going to read through this, see if there's anything I want to change. There are three brothers who are triplets, notorious for running the city, and they're speakeasy, the three little pigs that stalk of the town, prohibition has been a boom, someone who poses a real threat, of course the wolf, some tensions mount, brothers prepare for battle, and they're determined to defend their turf and show him post ball. So this is the first part where you could actually start making some significant changes. You know, they're preparing for battle. Doesn't go into detail there. They know he's not to be underestimated, well aware of his ruthless tactics. What ruthless tactics? You could always expand on these things. This is something you could take into chat GPT. You could actually use the laser tools as well. Put these in the document and you could ask one of the laser tools, use the expand or describe the ruthless tactics. Use rewrite, make it be more specific. All those little things. Just keep in mind, the point here is to start making your changes. But still keeping it simple enough where you can learn what each box does and how your changes are affecting everything. So conflict escalates. Brothers find themselves in a fierce battle. See how the brothers bond strengthens over the story. In the end, it comes down to one final showdown. Story ends with the three little pigs emerging victorious. And of course, I could change this. 
maybe I decide, you know, I want them to become allies or something along those lines, expanding territory, start working together. Who knows? All kinds of little things you could do right there in synopsis. And this is also one of those things. If I was doing this, and I'm going to go through another uh, story and show you, or not through it, I'm going to show it to you. So in this story, and again, I have a whole video on my process, but you can see how detailed I get inside this brain dump. Now, when I do synopsis, it tends to collapse everything because it only has 800 words to use. So a lot of those details, all the specificities, they kind of become glazed over or glanced over. So I will generally take this synopsis and I will rewrite it to be very specific. Have all those actions that I want, have the names, have the locations, things like that. So keep that in mind. Those are your first two boxes where you have the most impact. Your brain dump to give the story idea, tell it the genre that you're wanting to write in, and your synopsis box for really bringing out the specifics of your story that you want. And next, we will go into the genre and style box.